So we are still in what is language. Let's now look at some of the definitions of language. Henry Sweet. Language is the expression of ideas by means of sound combined into words. Words are combined into sentences. This combination answering to that of ideas into thought. Right? So this uh, definition of Henry mostly uh, referred to spoken languages. And uh, one thing that we can also say that it also refers to the structure of the language. How sentences are built from words and phrases. Hobbins uh, says language is a form of communication by means of which a system of symbol principally transmitted by vocal sounds. So Hobbins too discusses language with reference to the spoken aspect of uh, language and also its communicative properties. David Crystal uh, says defining language, language is a human vocal noise or graphic representation of this noise in writing used systematically and conventionally by a community for the purpose of communication. So in this definition we find that Crystal obviously say that it's a communicative uh, uh, function of language, but he also make reference to both spoken language and to written language, which is a graphic representation of uh, spoken uh, language. So basic purpose of, uh, uh, of language according to Crystal is communication, whereas there can be other purposes as well for communication uh, for a language. Languages are infinitely extendable and modifiable according to changing needs and conditions of the speaker, Robbins. So this is a, again a very important definition, infinitely extendable and modifiable according to changing needs. We all know that language is prone to change. With the passage of time there comes changes in languages. Uh, words change meaning, words change uh, words change sound. Uh, uh, obviously, we know that uh, there are uh, changes taking place all the time uh, in the lexical items of the language. However, we do know that so far as the uh, so far as the uh, structural uh, uh, aspects of language or structural contents of the language are concerned, uh, there is little change. We can we know that. Uh, uh, the structures of, uh, of a language uh, change little. But so far as the uh, lexical items are concerned, they are prone to change all the time. For example, the word cattle, once, you, once uh, used to refer to immovable property, is now used for uh, a group of animals. And similarly, you can find a lot of words uh, in any language which have, uh, uh, with the passage of time, changed. Uh, their meaning. Similarly, the sounds of uh, language also change. So there is language change is a const, uh, is a is a fixed or uh, is a uh, constant phenomenon uh, in everyday life. Wayne says a language consists of symbols that can that convey meaning plus rules for combining those symbols that can be used to generate an infinite variety of message. This is again a structural view of uh, language that it conveys meaning and uh, it uses symbols to generate an infinite number of sentences. So this is again a structural view, uh, view the view given by uh, Chomsky and others. Walt Whitman says language is not an abstract construction of the learned or of dictionary maker but is something arising out of the work needs ties joys aff affections taste of long generations of humanity and has its basis broad and low close to the ground so he he uh, refers to language as a as a as a work of the generations of humanity uh, for for him uh, language is not found in books or in dictionaries or not made by uh, lexicographers or linguists so he 
he uh, actually refers to the development of language that how language actually developed with the passage of time when human beings interacted their interaction uh, forced them to develop certain structures of language uh, to develop certain uh, items of vocabulary and this is how actually we can think of language uh, taking into place so we so far as these uh, definitions are concerned these uh, definitions uh, encompasses certain language properties for example arbitrariness that uh, there is no intrinsic relationship between the uh, be between the sim uh, symbol and its uh, meaning or or the object it refers to there is flexibility and modifiability language is always prone to change with the passage of time language key, language uh, keep on changing and freedom from stimulus control so so far as the definition that we have discussed language is stimulus uh, free uh, it does not need to have a certain stimulus to use a certain uh, item of language and it is structure dependence obviously language what we call depends on a certain structure if there is a structure there is language if we change or uh, the or if, if we put the different uh, building blocks of the structure of the language in a at random we are not able to give a certain meanings to uh, uh, our sentences so it is very important to take that language is structure dependent